much time, you know. But okay, let's go. Um, so seven days in the six hundred in the six hundredth year of Noah's life, in the second month. Oh, we got it. We almost got a calendar here. Six hundredth year, second month. That's February seventeenth day of February. We're getting a we're getting a calendar day here of the month. The same day where all the fountains of the great deep broken up. Oh, wait a second. And the windows of heaven were open. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. We're not just talking about we're not we're not just talking about squeezing every cloud out of the sky. There's some fountains of the great deep. Ooh, that sounds epic. Like Godzilla type epic. Where is this coming from? Hollow Earth? What's going on here? There's, there's other waters we don't know about. That could just surface according to God's command. He could just be like, all right, open up the floodgates. <laughs> Bubbles up out of the earth. Who, know, who knows if it's like super hot water? Well, that'll definitely, that lava water, whatever it is, hot gaseous water, if that all turns to water too, you're talking like boiling water coming up. That's going to do some killing. That might even kill the fish too. Yeah, he wasn't kidding. Everything's going to die. All right. Interesting, man. I never really, like I said, I've never read every word for word everything from front to back. There's a first time for everything. Like I've heard the stories and the embellishments and the different interpretations and the this, this, and that. Let's just read the word as it is written. Let's go. In the self same day entered Noah and Shem and Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah and Noah's wife and the three wives of his sons with them into the ark. It would have been cool if they had names. Well, they do. Ham, Ham, Shem. I mean, I'm talking about the wives. I guess the... Think about that, too. We Remember, we talked about this. Going back to the image of God, and he created he, them, them, and, the, uh, you know, in the likeness of us, who's us. And Adam is... His name is Adam and Eve. We know Eve, though. Eve's name's given. Was Noah's wife's name given? There are some wives' names that are given here. But my point is, that image of God and the mystery who. Because if it's one, if Adam is one, if that pair is one, then the name God, what does that mean? Right? Um... And it's a nameless person. It's a person whose name is not given. We're not given the names of these women, at least that I know of. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I might have to go back and look at my recordings, but no, I do not recall them mentioning who Noah's wife was, is, or was. Maybe she'll be revealed here later on as we read. Let's go. They, um... And every beast after his kind, and all the cattle after their kind, and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and every fowl after his kind, every bird of every sort. Wow, all species, sorts, species. And they went into and they went in unto Noah into the ark, two and two of all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. And they that went in, went in male and female of all flesh, as God had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. Okay, so now they're all in. The Lord shut the mighty door of the ark. Okay, let's go. And the flood was forty days upon the earth, and the waters increased and bare up the ark, and it was lift up above the earth. Wow. That's another part, I remember, from the drama series on the tapes was the people at this point when it started raining really bad. Like their time, had, they knew that it was it was over for them, but they were coming up and banging on the door. Sure, let us in! Please have mercy! You know, I remember that on the tapes. And as a kid, you're just listening to that going, dang, wow. And, I, and now as an adult, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking back on that drama series, and I'm thinking like, like how emotional and sad that would have been for people on the inside, like Noah, as much as he's 
being a righteous man, I'm sure he loved the people, regardless of their decisions, their poor choices, whatever they were doing to themselves, that he loved them and that I'm sure his sons and their wives, and especially the wives, I'm sure, are just like, oh my gosh, you know, probably even children out there banging on, the, you know, who knows, it, it, it could be torturous, you know, just hearing that. Ugh. But none of that's, you know, that's that's in the drama series. I'm just just trying to, because you're try, just trying to picture what it would what it would have been like, right? So let's keep going. <clears throat> and the waters uh, prevailed and were increased greatly upon the earth, and the ark went upon the face of the water. So yeah, it did it. It served its purpose, and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills that were under the whole heaven were covered. So. You know, the first thing as a kid, you know, one of the things you learn as a kid is, you know, what's the tallest man? Because you ask a lot of questions as a kid, don't you? You're like, why is the sky blue? Why is the grass green? What's the tallest mountain on the world? And I was like, oh, Mount Everest. So one of the first things you learn is Mount Everest. It's the tallest mountain on the planet, you know. And that's what I thought of. Immediately, I was like, the waters covered that mountain? Oh, my goodness. It covered Mount Everest? There was no mountain peak? There was no land? There was nothing? That's a, that's a lot of water, yo. Dang. Wow, I can only imagine. That's another thought, too, when you think about it now. I mean, you can make a movie about it, but I mean, they made some movies. I don't know. I didn't really watch the last one, but my creative mind, I'm thinking of if every cloud was drained, and you're up that high, almost in the atmosphere with water, and there's no clouds, you're floating on top of that, and it's nighttime, and there's no clouds, there's no cloud cover, there's no light pollution. Could you imagine what the heavens would look like? Looking up into the galaxies from that, from that viewpoint? Whew. That would be so epic. And who knows where they were selling if they got to see the aurora borealis like looking like it looking like they could probably just reach out and grab it with their hands that would be so cool to put that into a movie you know what i mean my mind's going to work here all right let's go uh waters increased and bear up the ark and it was lifted up over the earth um High hills, all high hills, everything under the hall were covered. Fifteen cubits upward did the waters prevail. Whatever the cubits are, I have to like know what that would mean. Um, and the mountains were covered. So I guess if you have the highest peak of the highest mountain, fifteen cubits above that, I'd say. All around, right? And all flesh died that moved upon the earth. Ooh, both of fowl and of cattle and of beast and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and every man. Wow. Of all in whose nostrils was the breath of life, of all that was in the dry land, died. <laughs> and every living substance was destroyed. Wow. Which was upon the face of the ground, both man and cattle and the creeping things and the fowl of the heaven, and they were destroyed from the earth, and Noah only remained alive, and they that were with him in the ark. I, I don't know if you remember, maybe I read it already, but the assumption is they brought seeds of every kind. Maybe, maybe they did say that, to replant, right? Because if every living thing's dead, that means all the plants are dead. Everything's dead. I mean, it, it would be a nice marshland after the water settles, a lot of marsh and a lot of, you know, stuff to regrow, I guess. But then, you know, some plants may not be extinct at this point unless you had the seeds for them. You know, that'd be another interesting collection. You know, no one would have had to live 600 years in order to, like, do all this work, <laughs> collect seeds, collect who knows what else you had to do. All right, let's go. Um, everyone's dead. And every living substance was destroyed, which was upon the face of the ground, both man and cattle and the creeping things and the fowl of the heaven, and they were destroyed from the earth. 
And Noah only remained alive, and they that were with him in the ark. And the waters prevailed upon the earth in hundred and fifty days. Whoa. So it was like that. They were floating around for about a hundred and fifty days. That's like, <clears throat> what was that? Four, five, five months or something like that. Or less than five months. Four and a half months, maybe. They, they would have to be made sure they had enough provisions for that to survive that that whole thing. But interesting, these numbers, man, 150 days, seven, seven pairs of clean beasts, two pairs of unclean beasts, um, human forms, four pairs, four pairs of humans, because it's like uh, no one, his wife is one pair, and then the three sons and their, their wives. So four pairs. So two two pairs of uncleans, four pairs of humans, seven pairs of clean beasts. Wow. Interesting. Okay, guys. That's the read for today. Chapter seven. Got it done. Putting it in. Locking it in. And uh, we'll hit up another one tomorrow. See you guys on the next one.